What's going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at the brand new Ultimate Kickoff Byron Jones. Before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and also leave a like. I don't say that enough before videos. Leave a like. It, I definitely would appreciate that. It also helps the video get to more people as well. So definitely hit that like button. And leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. I won't be live tonight because I'll be watching the Thursday night football game. But um, I'll be live tomorrow night doing I Rate Your Teams Live. So if you want a chance to have your team rated live on stream, link in the description for the Twitch channel. But uh, yeah, that's enough talking. We can stop right into it. Let's do it. All right, so here is Byron Jones. He is the ultimate kickoff master. You need the four 88 overall cards, put them into a set, and you get this 90 overall Byron Jones. I have him powered up, so he's got 91 speed, 93 acceleration, 93 agility, 94 jumping, 87 player rack, 85 man, 89 zone, and 91 press with 87 awareness. This card, athletically, he's the best corner in the game right now. Has the speed, has the excel, has the agility, and has 94 jumping, and he's six foot 205, so... As far as being just a strictly physical cornerback, he's one of the he's the best in the game right now. I think he's definitely the best. Um, there's no corner in the game that has that speed combined with the jumping, combined with the acceleration, the agility, and also he's also 91 press as well with good zone coverage. He's obviously a better zone corner than he is in man coverage. But Byron Jones is still absolutely amazing. If we go over to his abilities, um, for X Factor we have universal coverage. I feel like that's the best for a cornerback or bottleneck. Doesn't really matter which one you like more. Um, but all we have is acrobat. Here's what he can get though. He he can get lurker um deep out zone deep in ko uh, mid zone basically a lot of them he can't get one step ahead though because he needs 90 man coverage he does not get that unfortunately so all i have on him is acrobat i feel like acrobat is one of the more glitchy animations in this game right now because acrobat is only one ap so i run acrobat on all my cornerbacks besides Drake Bly because he, he gets one step ahead and i feel like one step ahead is just still that good if you can get one step ahead i recommend you do it but it is three ap so it's very expensive so i actually might end up taking off one step ahead and just put Acrobat on Dre Blatt so I can put my abilities elsewhere on defense. But Byron Jones with Acrobat already has the good jumping, um, already has the good speed. So with Acrobat, his animations will get better as well. So Acrobat on Byron Jones is what I recommend. Only one AP, super cheap, and he'll play amazing for you. All right, so for Byron Jones' team chems, all he gets is Dallas and Miami. I feel like for all the master cards, they should get all the team's chemistries. So that just makes sense to me. But for some reason um they didn't do that so only dallas and miami uh chems from byron jones um but he does get a secondary position which is free safety i actually might try this guy at free safety believe it or not i feel like it could be pretty glitchy um if you put like if you put like a ko on him like a like a deep zone ko like a deep out ko or deep in ko i feel like this card could play really good especially with that really good zone coverage i might end up trying it out once i actually get him because i bought this card off the auction house today so he was like 400k but i'm definitely going to do the solos and get those cards necessary to you know get this card for basically free so that's the plan um i don't think he's worth all the coins he is right now but if you grind your head to head and grind your um house rules getting this guy for fairly cheap is pretty reasonable so for sure byron jones is gonna be worth it if you get him like that but uh yeah that's enough talking let's see if byron jones is 91 speed 93 acceleration good zone good man will look like that today let's see how his card plays let's hop into it let's do it so we're facing eric weddle mo lewis tyron matthew and his name's little cj not little TJ, little CJ7318. There's our top three. We got Byron Jones in the top three, which is a big W. All right, here we go. Fall forward. No, I should have racked that, actually. I probably should have racked that. Damn. I got Bulldozer and Leapfrog, Bo. Just fall forward, my guy. That's all you got to do for me. All right, touchdown, Bo. Do we go for two? I don't think I should. I think going for two actually hurts me more here because if he scores a touchdown, he basically wins the game no matter what. So I'm going to... I'm going to just keep myself in the game for as long as possible. That's the plan. I'm so happy that House Rules is here, man. I, like The first two weeks without House Rules was such a struggle. It's so refreshing actually having like a fun mode to play, you know? Yeah, this guy's box. This guy's absolute box right now. All right, where's Byron Jones? Byron Jones is in the slot. He's guarding uh, number 81. I'm not really sure who that is, but that's who he's guarding. He's playing in the slot right now. He's with him too. Try him. Try him. Try him. Nah, this guy, just, this guy just wants to get sacked. All right, was that Byron Jones getting cooked? Okay, I, I don't think it was. I, I, there was a lot of separation out there, but it wasn't Byron Jones. I was actually kind of scared that Byron Jones' man would be too low to play, to play him in man coverage. So that's why I was thinking about putting him at free safety. But it looks to be okay right now. I will I mean, I got to play some more games to really get a full feel for it. But right now, he's, he's playing all right man coverage. Just watch him in the slot right there. He's guarding Tyler Lockett um yeah he, he really just ran a yeah he, he just ran a streak bro what the um all right that's game one we're one oh we're, we're one oh so far today okay then i don't know really what to say about that hey i got my five wins 
I got my 10 footballs. Let me go ahead and quick sell that. That means I'm halfway to I'm halfway to uh, my token in um in house rules. So that's a good sign. I just can't believe that the NFL starts tonight. It makes no sense how like it, it doesn't even feel like football season. It doesn't feel like it at all. It might be because the NBA is going on right now, but and also there was no preseason too, so it, there wasn't really that much like hype going into it. But I really just can't believe the NFL starts tonight. It's kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, that was our top three, and his top three is Lamar Jackson, 90 Jerome Bettis, and Michael Thomas. Okay, then. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Fake play action handoff here. He's going to go to the flat. Minka make a tackle. All right. Good play. Good play. All right. The fact he's in wing tight, wing tight tells me one thing. This ball will be a run play. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. A touchdown for Jerome Bettis. Okay. Not the best defense right there. I, I knew the run was coming. I wasn't really able to get into my into my rush D. Um, yeah, that's, that's what's going to happen to me every single time, I guess. Reek on the streak. Are we going to have Reek? No, we're not. All right. I said that's an easy dot to lock it, though. For those late dig routes, if the user doesn't see it and there's cut in the coverage behind them in any way, if you lowball that every single time, you will have a completion. I can almost guarantee that unless you get kind of hoed with a bad animation. But most of the time, you're going to get a pretty good animation. You should be chilling. Right there, low pass lead. And just every single time that late that, that late in route is just so devastating. All right, get outside, Bo. That's a touchdown. I'm gonna go for two. Let's try to win this game. Let's try to win this game. Do I run the ball here? I don't know. What, I don't know what to do here. I feel. Like, I feel like I probably should be running the ball here, right? Should have Finley open, and we win the game. Let's go. Um, eight to seven, two and zero. Oh. On to the next game. Let's do it. Open. I get screamed at right, right, right down the middle. Oh, I see what's happening here. I'm getting user pass rushed. That's why he's landing so easy. I'm getting user rushed. I, I don't think this is the first guy I faced who actually like solely user rushes. I know I know how overpowered that is. User rush is so good. Like, cause like if you're willing to use your user on your D line, you should get a shed every time, in my opinion. I mean, like, because you you're sacrificing so much. That was a really good block by Brandon Sheriff. Yo, Brandon Sheriff, low key. Is that, not, is that not a touchdown? I got the animation and everything. Give me my touchdown, bro. All right, another pitch play. Are we gonna score? Yeah, we're scoring that. All right. All right, now we gotta. I'm gonna go for the. I'm gonna go, kick my extra point, and then all we gotta do now is just play defense and get a stop, and we should win this game. I believe. I mean, he has Reek. He has uh, some pretty fast players out there. Byron Jones is kind of locking up Reek. He tries playmaking Tyreek. Oh, I thought he's gonna. I shot. Uh, damn, I thought. Yo, I thought I had that guarded. I, I, my user kind of fell asleep right there. If I'm being honest, don't don't watch that back. Don't go back and watch that. You'll see my user just standing still. Like don't 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 go back and watch that, please. Byron Jones is getting cooked by Tyreek every single time, but we're gonna we're gonna bail out Byron Jones with a pick with Minka Fitzpatrick. We're 3 0. We're up 3 0. I mean, we have th three wins, no losses so far in today's gameplay. But damn, yeah, did you guys see Byron Jones get absolutely cooked off the line there? I mean, he's facing Tyreek, but they have like the same speed. It could be the man coverage, though. The man coverage is a little bit low. I I'm only playing him in man coverage. That's all I've been playing him in this whole gameplay. Um, actually, if you're going for this last game, I'm gonna play him at free safety. I'm gonna play him at free safety. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, and by the way, before we hop into this game, I do want to say that playing Byron Jones at free safety does drop his overall to an 81. So moving him to free safety takes down his overall by 10, which is pretty crazy to me, even though he has a secondary position as a free safety. I guess maybe it's because of his hit power and his ability to stop the run. But yeah, we're still going to try it. Let's hop into it. Here we go. That's his top three. He's got Dre Bly, Leroy Glover, and Lamar Jackson. And our top three is Dan Marino, Byron Jones, and Bo Jack. Let's do it. Is that a PI? It might be a PI, actually. Yeah, but we're going to score a touchdown with Judy anyway. All right. That, that's a quick touchdown. If it's a PI in him, we're going to decline that. Um, and he's going to quit the game. He's just going to quit the game on that. I don't really know. Oh, uh, one more, I guess. Okay, one more. I, I don't... Uh, yeah. What? Here we go. We're facing the same exact dude who just rage quit. Um, he's got Dre Bly, Leroy Glover, Lamar Jackson. I mean, it looks like we're starting on offense again. <laughs> Yo, what are the odds I match up with the same exact dude twice in a row? <laughs> After he rage quit, he, he didn't even let, he didn't even try to play offense against him. He literally just quit. Yo, should we run the same exact play again on him? Yeah, I'm gonna hit him with that same exact touchdown, man. I mean, if you're not gonna learn from the first game, yeah, like, like the, like the concept doesn't change. I'm running the same concept every time. It's just, it's just gonna look different. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna get out of cross drag. I, I just need you to stop it for me. You know, like that's. That's what it is, man. And that flat from the running back really bit down on that curl flat too. Damn. That play was really nice. We got a lot of... And I usually don't clear out Finley like that, but that was really good. We got so open on that. 
I run Byron Jones. He's going to run the ball with Bo Jackson. And okay, okay. All right, then. I want him to pass the ball, but I guess we're not going to be able to play a passer today, huh? A good, like, set to run the ball. Oh, no. I really bit on that. Oh, no. I thought he was running the ball. I thought he was going to run the ball right there. That's just, that's just, that's just, that's just tough, bro. Let's see, let's see what he does here. I wonder if he's going to go for it. I bet he goes for it, man. Very interesting play call. I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't know exactly what his plan was, but we're going to get another win. All right, so that's going to do it for the Byron Jones gameplay. I obviously do love this card a lot. 91 speed. He's big, has good zone coverage, good press, good jumping, good man coverage. But for what the price he is right now is, I don't think he's worth going to get. But if you do grind your solos and your house rules and you're able to get those two free 88 overalls over the next two weeks, then I think it's worth going to do that set. You know, all you got to do is then buy two 88 overalls instead of buying four which is what he's worth right now, or just going to buy him right now for like 450k. So if I were you, I'd probably just grind your solos, grind your head-to-head, -head, um, and then go ahead and get this card for much cheaper than what you can get him for right now. Because right now, he's definitely not worth it. And I would also use your power-up pass on his core elite card because it's going for like 50k as well. So if you want to get this card for as cheap as possible, that's the best way to do it. So uh, yeah, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. And this video helped you out. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.